welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today I stumbled upon this thing called Fluity or Fluidity. Um, not exactly how to pronounce it, but anyhow, this project is pretty interesting. Um, I'm, it's in beta right now, so I'm not saying go out and you know use this product. And I'm definitely not saying go out and buy the the governance token. Okay, but let's take a look at what this project aims to do and what the, what the plan is and what the system is and uh, I'll talk a little bit about why I find it to be interesting. So basically it's uh, it says here money designed to be moved and basically they will reward people for for moving these tokens. So this to this uh, this system it builds on the idea of the zero uh, loss lottery system like uh, I did a video in the past on pool together. And what pool together does is you give them your tokens and you will never lose your tokens. They put them to yield. So they put them to some sort of yield source. They take all of the yield and then they give it to people based on some lottery system of like oh, drawing random numbers or drawing random wallets and then dividing those up. So everybody's yield is cut into small pieces and given to few people. So it's a, it's a lottery, right? Like it's not yield. It's not, it's not a place where you're going to park all your capital, but it's a place where you might get lucky and you might get a big bag of money. Um, so that's pool together, but this thing is very similar to that. Okay. So what you would do is you would take your tokens. Um, they don't have a list of tokens that they're going to support, but they do have these three here and they do talk about Ethereum as well as a token. So I'm not sure which tokens they're going to support, but let's say we have USDC here. So when you come to fluidity or fluidity, fluidity, you would take your, your 100 USDC and you would convert it into FUSDC. So 100, so one to one. So it says here you converts them at a one to one ratio, right? <clears throat> now they're going to be uh, on Solana, Polygon, and they do talk about being on Ethereum as well. And this is a, you know, basically Compound says they're most likely going to get the yield sources from Compound as it's a trusted uh, yield yield source. So. So you take these, your uh, <clears throat> USDC, right? You would give it to them and they would give you FUSDC. And then they would take your USDC and they would put it into some yield source. Like I said, I suspect it's going to be compound. So they put it into compound or on Solana, like Solol, Sol, Sololend or whatever, however to say that. So they would put it into these places and they would start to gain yield. But instead of giving it back to the token holders in a kind of like a vault style system, they're going to collect it and give it to people who either send or receive tokens. Now, not everybody, it's a lottery. So they, they have this uh, mathematical system where they're going to choose some people to get all of the yield. Okay, so so this is pretty interesting. So it's basically they what they want to do with this project is they want to make the money. They want to they want the F the F tokens or the FUSDC to move around. They want, they want people to use it. They want people to spend money, put money here, move it from here to there, buy this token, buy this NFT or all kinds of different things with it, right? They want that token to be the, the fluid token that moves around in DeFi, whereas the underlying asset USDC or Ethereum is parked away in a lending platform or in some sort of yield source and then they can take that yield and give it to people to incentivize them to spend money. So I think this is pretty clever. Like uh, it's a definitely better than the current economic system that we have in uh, traditional finance in order to incentivize people to spend money. So uh, like think of it, if any time you wanted to buy something, you had a chance to win a lottery. Um, I've lived in Taiwan for quite some time and they have a similar system where every time you buy something, you get a receipt and that receipt is now a lottery ticket. And they did this so that they could, uh, um, they could encourage companies or re retailers to print receipts because, oh, I want a receipt. Give me a receipt because that receipt is a lottery ticket. So this kind of follows in the same idea where 
they're encouraging people to use their money to do things, okay? Now, I'm going to go over into the docs here and go through a few of these things. And I'm not going to talk a lot about like exactly how the, the, the math is called and, and what the math is. But you, you can dig deeper and figure out how the math works and so forth. But let's go through some of these tabs in the doc and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about things. So one of the things they have here is they call this the optimistic solution. And what this optimistic solution is for is to to combat Sybil attacks. Now, what does that mean? So let's say I have a bot and I just send these tokens from my one bot to my other bot and I just keep sending them back and forth, do, 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 like thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Then I will be increasing the chance that I'm going to win because I will have the most lottery tickets, right? However, what they're doing here is they, they have this mathematical equation that uses all of these things. You can, like I said, you can read through and figure out the mathematical equation, but basically they have this mathematical equation whereby the cost of doing something like that in gas, so the actual Ethereum cost or the Solana cost of performing these transactions over and over and over will negate the chances, will be like negate the chances of being the winner. So for example, like you, you might win, but you're, you're going to win less than you paid in gas. So I'm not exactly sure how it works because I'm not very good at math and so forth, but I understand the concept of how this should work. So they're just basically going to make it more expensive to bot attack it than you could possibly win. So then it basically comes down to luck. If you are lucky, you can win. Okay. So they do talk about how the uh, how the um, the rewards are calculated and the different factors that they need to use to calculate it. Like I said, you can go through here and you can kind of uh, read through this more carefully and, and get a better understanding of what your chances are of winning. They do have this one tab here where they kind of talk about the probabilities of winning and stuff. And you, like I say, read through this if you really want to know how what are your chances of winning and so forth. Okay, so on to the next tab. We have down here understanding the fluid token. There's not a whole lot going on here, so I decided to look at the fluid token. And the fluid token is, uh, if you want to look at like you know you know who has them, you can come here and you can check. They do have a, a white paper on uh, the token distribution and who's going to get all of them. But the interesting thing here is what they call this utility mining. Okay, and now let's go back to the tab here. And where's the utility mining? Um, here. So utility mining, um, basically what they're, they're suggesting that they can do is, you know, protocols have these like uh, liquidity mining is like the most important thing right now, you know, like the curve wars and all of these things is about having sufficient liquidity. So to basically pay people to, to put their capital for other people to use, right? So basically for me to provide my liquidity to the liquidity pools, and you will reward me with your governance token or your reward token. And then I will increase my APY. I'll get trading fees and I'll get this uh, governance token of whatever it is, whether it's CRV or, or whatever token, you know, boo token or whatever token it is, right? So what they've designed here, this idea is that instead of uh, incentivizing only liquidity mining, they want to incentivize utility mining. So performing actions with the token. So actually they would take this uh this um they'll take this concept and they add it to the the possible reward for performing a transaction so if you perform a transaction if you deposit your token or you send your token or you buy something with your token right then you have a chance of winning the lottery but you also might have a chance of getting some governance tokens now they talk about it being both do usable for the fluid asset, which is the fluid governance token of this protocol, which gives you governance rights and stuff like that, and allows you to participate in what they call fluid fluidity wards. And also you could possibly, you know, they could make a partnership with another protocol. Like let's say, uh, let's say Beethoven X says to these guys, hey, if somebody trades your token through our AMA, then we want to give them a tiny amount of beats for doing so. So to, it's basically increasing trading volume instead of increasing TVL in that in that case of an AMA, right? But it could be like a like a yearn vault. You know, if you deposit your money into our yearn vault, then you will get a tiny bit of YFI tokens. So 
you you have a chance or you, everybody can get a little bit or something like this they could probably make it like add to the lottery or every single transaction gets a tiny bit or something like that they'd have to, they'd have to figure it out and, and protect against the civil attacks again right <clears throat> now they do talk about fluid fluidity wars so this is basically the, the the use case of why would you buy fluid token or why would you hodl the fluid token? Why wouldn't it just be a pure dump token? And that is because then this like fluid token would allow you to like maybe vote on the direction or the allocation of the fluid token or perhaps even the addition of partners to the utility mining system. Now, that's pretty much it. I think this uh, protocol is pretty interesting. Um, as always, like uh, I'm just talking about this as a new system that's out that I find interesting. I'm not asking you to go out and buy this fluid token because it's going to pump. I have no idea about this fluid token and I'm probably not even going to look at this protocol again until maybe it comes back into mainstream use case. Okay, but I do think it's interesting and I do find that they're being clever here and I do hope that, it, you know, that they, they support all the chains instead of just Solana, Polygon, and Ethereum. But I guess that's, you know, they, they're, they're based on their, their their partners here, the people who are supporting them. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere here. Anyhow, uh, about, maybe it's in a boat. Anyhow, based on their partners and they, they talk about some grants and stuff from Solana. So I guess that's basically why, you know, we'll, we'll go there first because you gave us a grant and, and so forth. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.